behind us here is the central, which is known as the deaf house, because at one time the man and the woman who had it were both deaf. And there was a story at my father, and I think it was connected with this same place, that there was a man living here who used to go around playing the accordion, I think, or possibly a hurdy-gurdy. And he'd go outside somebody's house and he'd be playing away. And if there was nobody in, he'd leave a bill for the music. But I don't think anybody ever paid him. I remember being at a session there in the deaf house. It used to be good. Colin Jerry was there, Phil Gorry, a few other people. They called themselves Boy Doll at the very beginning, Blind Boy. Colin was very keen on playing Manx music. And I remember being in there 40 odd years ago, I think. A sort of a visiting English folk music enthusiast was there and he started singing some sort of an English song. You know how the English folk singers were like, yeah, yeah. And I got into an argument with somebody over it. And I ended up pouring a pint of beer over his head. Nothing came of it, because he was well, he's not as big as me. <laughs> the just here is the Peel branch of Dumbles Bank, which went bust in 1900, and a lot of people lost a lot of money over that. But latterly, it was the town hall up until sometime in the 50s, when the new town hall was built up there. Just there on the sort of the little corner is number 15 uh, Castle Street which was where apparently Lewis Kipper Yard was first set up because on the gable, on the chimney stack, at one time you could actually see the thing that said Moors. I remember talking to Jennifer Curtis, because Curtis then took over the Kipper Yard and she said, oh no, no, it, it said Curtis, that was never Moors, but I said, yes, it's got Moors painted up on the, on the chimney stack and so it had.